എല്ലാവർക്കും നമ്മുടെ പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം അപ്പൊ എന്റെ കൂടെ ഇതുള്ളത് സ്റ്റെല്ല ഇത് പോൾ ഇത് ഭവ്യ അപ്പൊ ഇന്ന് വന്നിരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു കുഞ്ഞു വീഡിയോ ആയിട്ടാണ് എന്റെ കൂടെ ഉള്ളത് രണ്ട് സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ആണ് അപ്പൊ ഇവിടുത്തെ ഒരു സ്റ്റുഡന്റ് ലൈഫിന്റെ ഒരു എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇവിടുത്തെ ഒരു ആൾ ആൾ നമ്മളെ സംസാരിച്ചാൽ ഇപ്പം അതിന്റെ ഇവിടുത്തെ കുറച്ച് നമ്മളെ കുറിച്ചുള്ള ഡീറ്റെയിൽസ് അതുപോലെ തന്നെ ഇവിടുത്തെ ആളുകളുടെ എക്സ്പീരിയൻസും കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെയാണ് അപ്പൊ എല്ലാവർക്കും നമ്മുടെ പുതിയൊരു വീഡിയോയിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം വെൽക്കം So it's better to speak in English, okay? Okay. Or you can speak in Telugu in the middle if you want okay. to. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, introduce yourself. Namaskaram. My name is Bhavya. Uh, I'm from Hyderabad. So, I just uh, came into Cape Britain in 2021. And I'm doing my post-bachelor diploma in business analytics. And I'm recently done with the studies. So, I'm going to be moving to Halifax soon. Excited. So, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Stella and I'm from Mumbai. Uh, I came to Cape Britain a year ago, last April, and I'm pursuing my post-bachelorate diploma in business management. Okay, so these both are moving to Halifax <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> so why you are you moving to Halifax? That's a question to you because you have one more year study left. So. Okay, uh, because of the housing situation in Sydney, uh, so my landlord asked me to move out of the current place that I was living in and I couldn't find an ac- accommodation at the price that I wanted. I mean the prices in Sydney have been hiked to the prices that we are getting in Halifax. So I preferred going to Halifax rather than staying in Sydney. Okay, uh, so my next question is like about your course. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay tell me about your course because you just completed recently so how was the course uh, ECTC like as we compared to the studies in India how is it Okay so uh, post bachelor diploma is something which you do after your bachelor's degree yeah. so let's just say i have done my background in electronics and communication engineering so business analytics was more like uh, how you study the data and how do you interpret good strategies out of the data So I really loved how to analyze how to bring out the patterns of the data so while I came into Cape Breton University the lectures were good um the course is cohesive but uh, I would rather suggest you have to do your own own homework as well you can't completely depend on the uh, course alone so I would say keep doing your certifications as well on online you could have a lot of uh, like linkedin certifications google certifications this could really boost your resume or even your linkedin profile so i would suggest don't completely incline into this okay so tell me about your course and how how it's going right now okay so i come from a commerce background and i've done my uh, diploma in human resource management so i wanted to get more into the business aspect of it uh, my uh, core interest would would have been in marketing but i didn't enjoy the marketing course that i took up in cape breton university but i did learn a lot from the organizational behavior course that i took up so i think i'll continue with the hr feel that i had been into for the past 6 years so my other question is like uh, i got a comment from a subscriber like is girl safe here in canada so what do you guys have do you have any comment on that um i would i can't say something about all over canada but uh, if you guys are coming to cape breton university the safest place for sure because um, there has been times where i had to walk alone in the night or early in the morning where it's pitch dark though it is still safe i would suggest not to walk alone or stay alone so have someone yeah. with you always walk in groups for sure so just maintain that because you wouldn't know what would happen moving forward so just stay safe guys so in a group yeah what a about girl, uh, in an unknown place ha- uh, like has to always be careful extra careful than the guys so yeah just have a partner whenever you're walking on those streets and especially in the night yeah so you came like 2 years back and she came like one year back so uh, so when you came like how was the situation of the housing and jobs here uh, when we compared to right now it definitely changed it's kind of like drastic i would say because uh, when i came in 2021 uh, itself in that year i think that's when it started to pick up 
like lot of people knew about Cape Breton University and people came like uh, they've been coming to here in bulk so um, at start I was able to find the uh, job luckily uh, but I would say right now it's really really horrible because uh, you have very less opportunities up here uh, something which is like part-time jobs or something and uh, you would get less hours compared to what the people used to make earlier especially so, we can work full-time right now yeah, yeah, yeah since you can still work more than 20 hours it's a it's a negative factor for people who's coming like moving forward let's just say 2023 or 2024 so if you have something uh, from home like let's just say remote wo remote works uh, even within canada you can apply for remote work such as virtual assistant or uh, something like customer save uh, customer service online so i would suggest you apply for the remote jobs as well so if it's a hit or a miss you'll still have something besides the part-time job that you have here so have a backup for sure okay well, my next question is about university so <laughs> So like there are a lot of negative things going on. Uh, so what your opinion about CBU? Uh, so if somebody is like uh, planning to come here in the next intake or like I got a many questions like uh, many of the people saw uh, the recent video that has been released by a news channel. Yeah. So uh, I got several questions from my subscribers like how is CBU? How's the situation here? How's, how's the college? So what your answer about that it's really a controversial question uh, to be honest because uh, when i came in 2021 i was going online like the courses were online so i really didn't have much to say on that but uh, when they introduced this new thing about uh, you know uh, going classes in the cineplex which is a theater that's actually uh, very disheartening for people because you pay lots of money compared to the Canadians or the domestic people up here. And it's really hard when you just want to come and you have a better infrastructure around you and you want to just concentrate in the classes. That wouldn't happen when you go to Cineplex. That was a harsh thing. Apart from that, the CBU library and uh, canteen and everything, they're really good. Yeah. The resources are good, but the infrastructure is really bad. So, so I would... Yeah. It would be great if they could have picked it up. So you are taking classes in Cineplex, right? So what's yes. your experience? I do not like it, to be honest. And I, I'd appreciate if they would have more classes scheduled at the university itself. Because if I'm paying a lot of money, I'm paying a shit ton of money to... Sorry. Can yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's your emotions. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm paying a lot of money to get this degree i'd appreciate if i get the campus life along with the degree that i'm getting and uh, cineplex does not give that to you do so you, do you have any single canadian student in your class <laughs> no but i have a Brit british <laughs> no, no, i do not have a single canadian canadian in my class uh, most of the students are like indian students uh, some of them who do not even know english and uh, i have faced very bad experiences where i had to do like assignments with them and they couldn't communicate in english and it was like really horrible to only listen to them talk in hindi i mean we could have got the same experience back in india and i'm not degrading hindi but if you've come to an international university where there are uh, people who do not know hindi that well i, I think everyone should speak in a, in a common language where, where everyone understands the same language uh, do you have any comment like Guys, first this. of all, for people who are not able to find houses to stay in Sydney, I really feel you guys because it's been tough for everyone. Almost a lot of people I know, uh, everybody have been suffering because of that. Uh, simply, I would say if you have uh, somewhere else to go, like let's just say Halifax is kind of close to Sydney, so that's the reason people choose to go to Halifax. And the fact that you have a lot of students who go to CBU are in Halifax, so they have transportation, like they have their own car. Yeah. So that way, it could really save you when you have a couple of friends who are already coming to the class uh, to CBU. So if you just share fuel or maybe um, just share the ride with the people who are already traveling from Halifax to CBU for just one day, it could really save up your money for whatever reasons. So I would suggest if you're really not able to find any place in Sydney and you are going to CBU, 
then you choose an option to go to Halifax. Otherwise, try your best to get a, a you know house in Sydney. Uh, I believe there are a lot of websites like even Facebook Marketplace or Kijiji website. Um, a couple of here and there. Uh, some of them are not legit, so be careful. Uh, as you all know, when you pay the rent for the first month or whoever got the house be careful about the security deposit so if they ask you to pay more than half month rent security deposit they are no go so that's a red flag right there so always be careful with that try to pay only half amount of security deposit and then you pay your first month fee and uh, always try to include all the utilities within your rent just be careful with that and uh, of course the internet can be here and there but uh, just make sure you find something which is reasonable to you and if you're not able to then you choose a place called Halifax as I said in intro we are uh, like uh, we have uh, one of our best friend uh, our co-worker called Paul so I asked him some questions so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna post that video after this so enjoy guys thank you enjoy, enjoy. bye tell something in Malayalam Malayalam Sukumano okay. Sukumano okay okay yeah Nani Nani then then Namaskaram. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Pina <laughs> Karnam. That's good. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. So, it's good. So, how's the people? Uh, I mean, like, see, I have like a lot of questions, like, with like many people text me, like, how's the people there? Are they good? Okay. Like, how's the people here? So, How are we treating you people? Yeah, like that, yeah. I hope that we're treating you people good. Yeah. Because you people are very nice. You're very humble yeah. and trying to do a good job. Yeah. And, you know, it's, 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 it's a big experience. I feel for you guys because you're sometimes leaving your family behind and coming to a strange country and you don't know anybody when you first get here. Yeah. Or very few people. And... The customs are different, and the food is definitely different from what you're used to. Yeah. It doesn't have a whole lot of taste. <laughs> what? Yeah. Well, I mean, it doesn't have the spices and that sort yeah. of thing, yeah. so... And, uh... That's right. So, as far as now, we have some, like, housing issues for the students, because... Yes. Because many students are, like, eagerly coming to the Cape Breton. So, as per the location, so... What do you have, like... Do you have something to tell about the specialty of Cape Breton? Um, I think that they need to make sure of what they're going to get for housing because I think some people are taking advantage of the students and overcharging for the accommodations that they're giving. So I feel bad about that, but it's not something that I have control. And sometimes the public uh, transit system is not the best for some areas where they if it was more like there's some routes that yeah. people don't use anymore because a lot of people nowadays in this area have cars mm -hmm. so it's not like a bigger city where there's a more uh, more transit available on a more timely schedule sort of thing so that makes it hard for the students to get places there's yeah. limited as to where they can live and uh, a lot of the housing is being switched because they're the, I don't know want to call them slum landlords, but they're making more money. They're kind of gouging, I think, the students that are coming here, which I, I don't feel is right. And there's not enough accommodation sometimes for what, for the amount of students that are coming here. Yeah. So that makes it rather difficult. I mean, they're coming halfway across the world to find out that there's no place to live. Yeah. And that's got to be pretty scary for somebody you know, a young person. Yeah. So I really... So, regardless of all these issues, how is Cape Breton to you? Like, how's the place? Like to me, it's it's my home. And yeah. I, I've, I've lived here. I've lived in the neighboring province of New Brunswick. Yeah. And I've lived in Newfoundland. Uh, Newfoundland is an island, too. And PEI is an island. I find that uh, Newfoundland people are very... Uh, gracious and humble too and I mean uh, a lot of times in Canada Newfoundlanders are looked down upon because they were the last to join Canada they became part of our country only in 1949 and sometimes because they, they worked hard and they were mostly fishermen people thought that maybe they weren't as intelligent as everybody else but they are they're equal 
I don't think that anybody's any better than anybody else. Um, People coming from India or different places, what do you what do you suggest them or give a good advice to them who are coming up here? That are coming here, they yeah. want to make sure that they're getting proper information from your country because I heard, and I'm not blaming anybody and I don't know enough, but that there's some people that are taking advantage of them and taking their money and they're not yeah. getting, so they need to do go through the proper channels to find mm -hmm. out and if possible they should have some kind of a connection over here that can tell them about the, the weather conditions sometimes when they get here and they don't realize that we have seasons here yeah. and it can get very very cold and snow is not something you want to be going out with flip-flops on yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know but I mean that the, there are some different things here um, I think the way the people drive here from the way I hear people drive in India is a little bit different yeah yeah, um, yeah so there's some traditions and there's there's still I think some people here are not are, it's it's a new experience for for the Caucasian people that are here, especially yeah. the older generations, because there's not so many uh, here. There were the, the, there was many. There is different cultures here, because when the steel plant used to be here and the coal mines, there was people that came from different parts of Europe to to work in these things. So there's a bunch. There's Ukrainians. There's Russians. There's Italians. There's French. So there is. And there's still a, a, a bunch of French communities here, sort of thing. So the, there is different, but India was a different culture altogether, so they have to experience that. And I think people um, sometimes are afraid of what they don't know. Yeah. And they are ignorant to what these people have to offer, sort exactly. of thing. And, but um, so when they see all these different people here, sometimes they wonder, you know, yeah. I've heard people say, well, these people are taking jobs away from here, but a lot of times these jobs are available because the white people don't want to work them. <laughs> so these people are willing to, they have a, a drive to succeed, mm -hmm. and you want to, you're going to do whatever it takes to make it in this world, which is to be admired, I think. That's right. So that, that's something, and I think people are, um, at least especially from my perspective, finding that these people are very, very nice people and, yeah. you know. Try to get to know them Get person. to know the person yeah. first before you judge. Yeah, that's right. You can't always judge a book by its cover sort of thing, so. Yeah. That's a good one. So, after the students coming here, like, does this place, like, um, got any, like, any improvement, like, or any development? Yes, I think uh, they're, they're looking at trying to increase and uh, diversify the, the transit system to make it more like so that opens up a lot of air, other areas that may have mm -hmm. living accommodations yeah. Yeah. like I know over uh, on our street my wife has stopped and picked up uh, a st I think it's a student from India I didn't find out which part he's from because she, she doesn't speak any of the, the, the few dialects that I do but uh, and she said now when she's going down the street if he sees her coming he waves her down and gets a drive so he must be he's in an apartment over there and he thinks it's very you know mm -hmm. beautiful sort of thing so that that makes me feel good but it it's it's unfortunate that uh, there's not more accommodations for them to you know to bring them over because they're over there I guess canvassing and you know they're, they're charging quite a bit of money for these students to come here it would be nice if we had the proper accommodations for them but I think they're they're working and trying to change that because it seems like a lot of them still want to come, which is nice because I think it, it broadens their experience and it broadens our experience. The more we know about other people of the world, I think the more we can get along. Yeah. yeah. So I'll say thank you. Thank you. Good way to wrap up. Malayalam. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Hello, guys. Like, share, and subscribe to, to East, East Coast, Coast in Canada, Canada and, and hit, hit the, the bell, bell icon. icon.